Welcome to Electron News Bytes, our show dedicated to updates from the world of electronics and semiconductors. I'm your host, Stuart Cording, the electronics reporter. In this month's show, I'll be highlighting a new highly integrated motor driver for brushed and brushless motors, providing details on a new compact low power hall sensor, looking at an integrated load switch, and explaining changes to Europe's e call system. However, if you're in a hurry, use the description below this video or podcast to jump straight to the topics that interest you. Otherwise, let's get started. With vehicles going electric, it's important to ensure efficient use of energy and reduce the size and weight of every application. In the area of motor control, this results in high levels of integration and more brushless motors which are great for fans and pumps. But brush DC motors still play a role in opening sunroofs and windows and need to be attached to modern automotive networks. Infineon's latest Motix motor drivers combine PowerStage, Cortex M3 core and a CAM FD interface to support both types of motor. Offering a B4 or B6 bridge N-channel MOSFET driver, these 7x7mm package devices operate at up to 60 MHz. They're also ASIL B compliant and even offer built-in cybersecurity in some variants. Giving developers a head start is the 150 watt coolant pump reference design, along with other software, including ASPICE qualified motor control libraries. Magnets increasingly appear in applications to detect doors, lids, level, uh, levels of liquids, and even the presence of gaming consoles and smartphones. Hall sensors are still a great way to detect magnets, enabling contactless switching in everything from home appliances to industrial applications. But in battery powered applications, you want to be sure that such a feature has a minimal impact on battery life. Diodes has launched a new portfolio of monolithic unipolar Hall effect switches for this purpose. Operating over 1.6 to 5.5 volts, they draw as little as 1.1 microamps. Two versions are available, a single output that responds only to a south pole and a dual output version that responds to both poles. The outputs are push-pull, avoiding the need for pull-up resistors and the devices include features to minimize switch point drift and improve temperature stability. Although there are plenty of electric vehicles on our roads, the charging experience can often be lacking. One problem is that we don't really seem to have settled on a charging standard worldwide. Tesla offers the largest charging network in North America and better uptime than competitors. To build on this infrastructure, they opened up their charging connector to the competition last year. Known as the North American Charging Standard, or NACS, it's being standardized as SAE J3400, and many manufacturers are planning to support it. Recognizing this, Vector has announced that its e-mobility portfolio meets the NACS requirements. This includes their software products such as Microsoft Charge, testing tools such as VSEC-Lib, and hardware like the VH5100A that listens to charge of vehicle communication. This episode is sponsored by TME. Products for makers and hobbyists are a solid and growing segment of the TME product portfolio. The most popular are Arduino boards ranging from the iconic Uno Rev3 through to the MKR and Nano series up to the Portenta boards focused on the needs of professional developers. Arduino's latest addition to the lineup, the Uno Rev4 Minima and Uno Rev4 Wi-Fi, can also be ordered directly from the website at tme.eu. Power control is often implemented using simple MOSFETs. This allows developers to power down parts of a circuit as needed. But additional features such as overcurrent or over voltage protection require additional circuitry. Nexperia's load switches are highly integrated, packing in driver circuit, protection features and diagnostic capability. The latest device, the NPS4053, is optimised for portable devices such as notebook computers, desktops and docking stations. 
Operating over 2.5 to 5.5 volts, the switch includes a 55 milliohm self-protected MOSFET, programmable current limiting and true reverse current blocking. The device also includes a fault indicator pin to alert a host controller in the event of a fault event. Available in both leadless and leaded packages, it's also UL62368 recognised and available as an AEC Q100 qualified version. Cybersecurity remains a critical issue in industrial applications, from manufacturing and electricity distribution to oil and gas. According to a report by Trend Micro, cyber attacks have affected almost 90% of businesses in these sectors, highlighting a pressing need for robust cybersecurity protocols and measures to protect key infrastructure. Tackling this issue is Moxa with their OnCell G4302 LTE4 secure cellular routers. Featuring software that complies to IEC 62443-4-2, it offers a robust design and certification to industry standards and includes WAN connectivity for redundancy. Those interested in the capabilities of this secure cellular router are invited to join Moxa's early bird program that runs through to March 2024. Connecting printed circuit boards can be a challenge. Most sprung contacts support vertical compression, but parts that provide horizontal movement are few and far between. Harwin changes this with a new range of spring contacts that support multi-directional operation, providing designers with more flexibility in their high-density designs. The S1921 and S1931 offer heights of 4 and 5.5 mm respectively, while the taller S1981 and 1991 offer 8.5 and 10 mm. Rated to 14 amps, they're well suited to power delivery, signal transfer and enclosure grounding tasks. Manufactured from a copper alloy, the contacts offer more than 5,000 mating cycles and can be placed using automated techniques from their tape and reel packaging. For vehicles sold in Europe since 2015, eCall the automatic emergency call system has been mandatory. However, this system relies on 2G and 3G circuit switched cellular networks that are slowly being phased out. This means that eCall needs to move to 4G and 5G packet switched cellular networks. To ensure that all the appropriate specifications are complied with, Roden Schwarz have released a new test package for their CMX500 one box signaling tester. The test cases are ready to go, having been recently validated by the 3GPP Global Certification Forum. When building RF equipment, you're often forced into difficult design decisions when it comes to connectors. Often standing perpendicular to the housing, you'll need enough room for the cables to bend if there is not much room available, which places them under mechanical stress. Recognising this, Cinch Connectivity Solutions launched a 45 degree SMA connector family back in 2021. Building on its success, the team has now added a family of 30 degree Johnson millimetre wave RF connectors. These are well suited to satellite communications, GPS and phased array antennas, radar systems and automated test equipment. So that wraps it up for this month's episode of News Bytes. If you'd like to learn more about the technologies highlighted, check out the accompanying description and links. Should you have a news update you'd like to share, please drop me a line to tell me more. You'll find my contact details on the Elector website. Or if you prefer, connect with me, Stuart Cording, on LinkedIn or follow me on Twitter. While you're here, please like, subscribe to Elector TV Industry on YouTube or give us a rating on whatever podcast platform you're listening to us on. Thanks for joining and hopefully we'll see you for Elector News Bites next time.